during S phase. Remember, they won't be visible during S phase. So, but what happens now when cell enters into S phase, it is required to duplicate all its chromosomal DNA. And the end result of chromosome uh, duplication is that we will have chromosomes like this. So this one chromosome, after going through DNA replication, it is going to have now sister chromatids. So this is complete chromosome. Now after DNA replication, you see this kind of structure. Both the chromosomes will look like this. These two are now sister chromatids. These are two homologs, but this one and this one, these are referred to as sister chromatids. Now, similarly, you will have duplication of this chromosome as well. As I said, they will not be visible in these shapes. This is just to tell you that, you know, during S phase, due to complete duplication of genome, now, let's say here, all these four, hypothetically uh, speaking, all these four, let's say they are like 46 chromosomes of humans. Now, after S phase, you will have 92 sister chromatids. And cell then ensures that every nucleotide present on these chromosomes is replicated, is duplicated. It goes through this next phase, which is the G2 phase. And this is the phase where it ensures that I have the complete genome duplication. And then it enters the mitosis phase, which is this one. And in mitosis is divided into four phases. We learned we have prophase, we have uh, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Now, all these four phases are actually happening here. You can say here, prophase, anaphase, uh, metaphase, anaphase, and then you have, you know, telophase where two cells are going to divide. What happens during, so I, I try to draw here, during the prophase, the chromosomes which are normally not visible, as soon as cell passes through the G, uh, G2 and enters into mitosis, all the chromosomes, they are high, they become highly condensed and uh, uh, condensation or compaction and uh, only then uh, such kind of structures they become visible and what you see that you know in within the nucleus you have all four chromosomes these were i told you these uh, we call them normally metaphase chromosomes uh, they are not normally visible here i just tried to highlight uh, what is happening here in the S phase. These shapes in the S phase, they become apparent and you have now, you know, chromosomes, these shapes are visible. They only become visible in the S phase. Now, at the same time, when cell is entering into S phase, other components also, uh, and in animal cells in particular, you have here, you know, the centrosomes, uh, they divide. Centrosomes are, you know, structures within the uh, cytoplasm. They duplicate and they move to the opposite poles, the two products of centri centrosome. Uh, which are referred to as centrioles, they move to opposite poles. And once they move to opposite pole, what you see now, 
you know, these microtubules, they start emerging or getting extended from these centrosomes. Nuclear membrane disappears, and all these chromosomes, they start appearing on the, these microtubules, which extend between products of these two centrioles, and these chromosomes, they get attached physically to these microtubules and the region of chromosome where microtubule attaches to the uh, chromosome is called kinetochore. So all the chromosomes, they, they become arranged on these, the, so the, this microtubules structure is called spindle apparatus and what happens all the chromosomes they get attached uh, through kinetochore structures on onto the spindle fibers. Now once you have all chromosomes attached what happens the next step is now, all these chromosomes, they are aligned on the mid-equatorial plate of spindle apparatus like this for simplicity let me draw only only one pair of chromosome here like this and the other chromosome also like this all these four chromosomes, they will be aligned on the mid-equatorial plate and when they all are aligned on the mid-equatorial plate, this stage is called now the metaphase. Once cell ensures that all chromosomes are aligned on, you know, the mid-equatorial plate like this, The next step is now microtubules start retracting and that is where you know the proteins which are holding sister chromatids together they get degraded and each chromosome goes to opposite pole like this and end result will be here you will see you know chromosomes going to opposite poles okay so this ends up to this pole all these four chromosomes will be separated all the proteins which are holding these sister chromatids together so each sister chromatid will be pulled apart to opposite poles and chromosomes will end up on the two opposite poles and end result will be will have This stage is called when chromosomes, they start going to opposite poles, is called anaphase. And eventually, you know, the nuclear membrane starts appearing. And when nuclear membrane appears, the cell membrane 
gets constricted this is this stage is called cytokinesis and the two cells they split from each other and that is completion of mitosis and when the two cells the nuclear membrane appears as well as uh, constriction of you know uh, cell membrane takes place this stage is called then after anaphase is called telophase and eventually cytokinesis